Hi everyone, it's me, Andrea Taylor, and today we are going to do a packing and review video of this Jujube and Hello Kitty collaboration. And this is the BFF, and I'm also going to do one with the Be Cool. So if you like to watch this video, keep on watching. One, two, three, fuck it. Um, a couple of weeks ago and I've been using it ever since just to try out the color and the print obviously I already have about four BFF bags because it is my favorite um, style bag from Jujubee it is the best uh, bag when you are a new mom and you have a newborn because of just how it just how it packs and how it stands I think the way it stands is really a big help when I have my baby all to myself so I'm just going to unpack everything outside and go in inside but I think it's very, very essential for me to say that I do not have this packed up um, for a mommy, for my mommy essentials. I do carry a small BFF, a mini BFF or a mini BRB for all my phone, my wallet and all of that. Just because where I am from, we don't really get to go out as much. Um, we are still under the quarantine and uh, we try to stay indoors so most of the time i have this pack so when we go to my mom's house i just bring all of this in my mom's room leave the baby and go out for grocery or coffee with my husband so that is kind of what we've been doing lately everything that my baby will ever need for a full day is here so let's get to it let's start with appreciating the beautiful print um i really like the shade of pink it is not um not the same as the blush and that you can as you can see if you can see from here is not really lilac as well it is more of a very light um flush pale pink which i absolutely love because i would really want a white bag but i'm so scared having kids and having to drag my bag around to have a white bag but this bag is very very close to very pale pink so i like that it's nice and light and the print itself, if you can see, I'm just gonna put it down. Print itself has a little texture to it. Like, there's like, parang, uh, other colors in it. Not just a plain background. And of course, all the details that gives out a summer vibe. Sadly, I cannot bring this to the beach anytime soon, but I am planning to bring this along with me. So, let's start. First of all, I'm really sorry with all the noise that you can hear outside. It is early in the morning, so everybody is sweeping outside doing their morning errands and morning chores so i think this is the time where everybody does that so you will hear a lot of noises outside so first with the zipper pulls look at these really cute zipper pulls the bff has all the three different zipper pulls so there so if you want to get the whole um zipper pool collection maybe you should try bff <laughs> it is super cute so let's start with the front pocket the front pocket, I like to bring easy to grab things. Um, I have a couple of personal items here just in case I forget them. So here, I just carry a couple of things that I normally would put in my my smaller bag. But sometimes when I'm just, you know, I don't want to bring a, a big, a smaller bag. I actually have a couple of essentials here. So I have an extra mask. This is from Nino Franco. A local, very cute little local bag. It The print is so cute. Next, I have here wipes. I like to put it in the front because it's easy to grab and I always need wipes. I have a clip and a hair tie for myself. I have my concealer because sometimes when I oops, don't go out, like I don't put on makeup, I always just need concealer. I have here a oatmeal snack. I only have one left but I actually had a lot of this. And then I have some alcohol which I have to refill, but just some sanitizer. So that's all that I pack in front. This is usually where I put like my keys or if I'm using this bag with like my personal essentials, I would clip on my wallet which is a small set piece in here. So it's nice and secure. <laughs> Moving to the outside of the bag, I don't have anything packed here right now because I would usually have my phone. I have the XR with my Taylor Family Vlogs case and a pop socket. So this one would go here perfectly, but yeah, it goes there. And 
On the side, I have a couple of things. I have a posse pod in um, this is in the um, lilac chromatics. I just have here my daughter's pacifier, and here I have a little bunny. This is just a all-in-one rattle. I am Alilo Bunny. Let's be friends. Rattles. So it does all sorts of colors, of uh, sounds. It also purple tells the color blue of items in it has here. It's such a fun thing. It also does like a lot of stories. There's to be rhymes. Here we go! Story, the song of the armadillo. The music. And this is my favorite part, the soothing music, because my daughter loves to sleep with soothing music. So it's nice to have. And I always just put it here on the side. Back pocket, I don't have anything in here. I do have a change pad, but I don't always pack the change pad with me um, Just because I do have a smaller change pad in my bag But sometimes when I know we're gonna be out for long or if we're not only going to be at my mom's house I do put a change pad there And I like to use this as a messenger strap um, Sometimes I would use it as a backpack, but most of the time it is a messenger strap I'm just gonna take it out right now so it doesn't make much noise. And now we can go into the bag. So again, I told you that one reason that I love this bag is on how it stands. I'm gonna show you how perfectly it is when you have a newborn. Okay, so this is how I would pack it up with my Be Cool. It stands perfectly like this and this is mainly why I love the BFF as a newborn bag. Um, it just stands perfectly so everything that you would need if you're in a hurry you can just grab it and not having to hurdle around a bag so in the front pocket right here I actually have some extra disposable mask um, just in case like our mask gets soiled or wet or anything I always have spare mask here I have a blanket right in front this this um, serves as a blanket a burp cloth anything it's perfect it's the right size and it's not too bulky and then over here, I have my Be Cool, um, also in the Hello Summer. So let me show you how I pack this up. So here, I have it in a small strap. I, I'll show you how I did it. I, I saw this trick from a lot of like Ria. Uh, Mommy Ria did it. Also, um, uh, Nicole did it. Mommy Nicole from White Mountain Mama. So what, she, what they did is they just put in the strap that comes with the Be Cool and they put it around the D-ring over here and over the other side. This way, you will have a short strap that's perfect when you need it to just grab and go something. And I love it this way because usually I just use it like that. So I'm going to open what's inside my um, be cool. Okay, so in the be cool, I have all my breastfeeding things that I need. I am a breastfeeding mom. My my daughter is only three months old, so I have um, accessories or things that I bring with me to support my breastfeeding journey. Um, I do collect milk. I pump every day. Uh, my daughter does drink also from a bottle, from uh, express milk in a bottle. But I have to store them properly, otherwise they're gonna not be good anymore. So what I have here. Is first, I have this container. I don't have it packed right now, but I have um, a small stack container here. I would usually put peanuts. It's my favorite to go snack, like whenever I'm breastfeeding. When you are breastfeeding, you get super, super hungry. So it's very, very important that you have a snack with you. And then, just sitting here is my Hacka pump. So the Hacka pump is a very, very essential um, breastfeeding item. I would put it in the other. Um, boob when I'm breastfeeding and then it will collect all the letdown that would usually just end up in your bra or your um, breast pads or anything like that and you wouldn't really notice it but it collects quite a lot um, during a day well probably if I keep doing this for a full day I would fill up into five five ounces of milk which is perfect um, perfect amount of milk to feed my daughter for like two to three hours so it's it's really it doesn't it doesn't re it it really is 
So the hack of pump is such a good hack when you are a mom and you have a lot of milk. I do have a lot of milk. I'm really blessed with that. So I do um what I can to store them. So after I take it out from my boob from here, I would store my milk in separate containers. I have just two containers here and then I would put a ice pack right under. So that's how I pack it up for my breastfeeding essentials. And I love, love that the bead pool is a structured, um, it's structured like it does, doesn't really have a lot of space. It just has the enough, enough space. But at the same time, I love that it's structured because it stands up on its own. So I will not be worried about my milk spilling everywhere. And you know, wasted milk is super painful. So it's perfect. I have just here, so the bee cool was sitting here. I have here um, my large set piece and the print shoreline. I opted to choose uh, using the shoreline for this print just because it is in theme with the beach in summer and at the same time it has a silver hardware though you can see that the shoreline is kind of matte-ish and then you can see this really nice and shiny which I like as well so it is perfect um, pair I have here in my large set piece my diaper ring essentials for my daughter um, I have here my small um, change pad and then I have diapers I have my baggies and some Lysol. I use Lysol to, um, even if I have a change pad, I just wipe it off a bit. Any surface that I put my, my daughter in. And then I have my rash cream. Um, one thing that I've, I've done recently is I label a lot of the things. Because sometimes when I have this, I also bring in my, my boys, uh, my two toddler boys things. And when I leave the kids in my mom's, she tends to panic because she doesn't know which pouch is for Serena for my daughter. So I always have this. It has diapers on it. All my other stuff also has like names like clothes or whatnot. So this one is diapers for my daughter. She's the only one who has diapers now. So it's perfect. At least whoever needs to help me out with the baby, they would already know which bag to take out. And then I have here the medium set piece also in Shoreline. Um, I have here a change of clothes for my daughter. So I just have a 1C, an extra mask for my son because he tends to play with his mask and it gets really wet. So um, I don't know if your kid does that, but he does that. So I always have an extra one here. I have socks and this really cute um, bib for my daughter. It has her name on it. It says Serena. Super duper cute. And if you're from the Philippines, I will link the where I got that custom made down below so that just goes on the pouch here and along with that pouch I have this small pouch that I just got from a convenience uh, no not convenience store a department store it is super useful for me it is two bibs really really thin bibs for my sons so I have a, set, a six year old and a four year old they don't really use bibs anymore and they kind of get mad when I put bibs on them but when we are in the car and then they're in the back seat in their car seats and they have ice cream or something like that, I can never really make sure that they don't stain their shirts. On the other side, we have, it's gone really, really big and fat now, but this is my medical kit. I keep adding things in here because with three kids, you really don't know what's gonna happen. And the small set piece, which is super cute, this is one of my favorite set pieces. Um, this has my daughter's feeding things. She's only three months but she loves to chew on her hand and this one has monkey. We call her monkey. This is a, I think, yeah, it's called the match stick monkey. I have her small little toy here. It is a very, very cute little rattle but it keeps her entertained when she's cranky and we're out. The last thing here is this small set piece and Toki Pops super, super cute print placement and this is toys for my sons. When we are out, they always have a bag, like a petite bag or a midi bag with all their things and their toys. But this one is just in case they don't bring anything and they get bored. They always have these magnetic tiles that I bought. And here on the last part, I just have these. These come with um, the toy that my daughter has. Let me just show you real quick. So this is Alilo Bunny. And when you turn it on... Hello, I am Alilo Bunny. Let's be friends. Rattles. Purple. Red. It all just goes in this file here. So there you have it. That's how I pack my 
Juju B and Hello Kitty collaboration and the print BFF and be cool. I hope you guys find it um, entertaining to see how I pack this up for my newborn. Um, again, this is available on the 18th of June. I'll hope I can edit this before then so you guys can view it before buying. I really, really love this print. It is such a cute print for summer and not just for summer. It's like for anything, um, just for daily use. I love the pink. I love all the decorations and design on it. And like the, the print itself is really, really cute. And you really need to grab one of these in any print. They also have a mini B, which I am eyeing for. Um, I love it. And I hope you guys can follow me on my socials. I will put it here. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye!